In 1999, we traveled for the first time to the digital world with our favorite protagonists through the first anime season of Digimon, but that was not the first time we met the creatures broadly known as Digimon. Short for digital monsters, they were first introduced as virtual pets on a device called Tamagotchi. Even though these virtual pets were just a few pixels on a small screen, they showed needs and emotions, so people got attached to them and got sad when they made fatal mistakes in raising them. The next step Digimon took on their journey to our hearts was with manga, which even after 20 years are still being read and reread today. But the media through which Digimon gathered most fans worldwide was the anime series, which captivated users around the world in just a few episodes. As their name states, Digimon are digital life forms who come in many shapes and sizes, and each time we travel with them to the digital world, we learn more things about these mysterious creatures. In one episode of Adventure, we found out that the digital world exists parallel to the human world. Well, recently, new information has been released that questions the theory of Digimon being created as programs. First, let's tackle the issue of how Digimon and their human partners get together in human and digital worlds. As you know, sometimes the chosen children travel to the digital world and sometimes Digimon travel to the human world, but how exactly does this work? How can something digital become real and how can humans become data? Digimon Tamers took a spin on the explanation. According to this season, Digimon can cross the barrier from the network to the human world, materialize by creating protein and components from the air and nearby matter, and use data to assemble this material into a body. In Tamers, this process is called bioemerging, and the phenomenon that accompanies it is called a digital field. It is depicted in the series as a grey fog of false proteins that get infused into digital data when Digimon manifest into physical form. During the many seasons, Digimon found many ways to come to the human world, either through a gate, vortex or a digital field. Something similar happens when humans travel to the digital world, their bodies get converted into digital energy. As seen in season 2, they can change their clothes in the digital world with their minds. However, it was stated early on that if something happens to them in the digital world, it would affect their human bodies as well. When a Digimon dies in the digital world, they are reborn, but that does not happen if they die in the human world. One of the most known examples of this would be Wizardmon, who after dying by the hands of Wandamon, appeared multiple times as a ghost in the human world. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the name Hiroki Kakudo, he worked as a series director on six Digimon anime as well as the X Evolution movie, so he has been around since the very beginnings of the animation process, all the way to some of the newer anime like Ghost Game. Kazumasa Habu is another famous name among the Digimon fans, since he created some of the best and favorite games in the franchise. In a recent interview, Habu spoke about a conversation he had with Kakudo about where Digimon come from. Kakudo told him that he doesn't believe the notion that Digimon are data born through technology, but rather something that has been around for centuries and simply used technology to manifest itself in our world. He believes Digimon are more of a spiritual existence rather than digital and that they have always had a spiritual bond with their human partners. However, this contradicts some early explanations given in the anime. For example, in Digimon Tamers, Takato got very emotionally attached to his partner Gilmon, whom he created himself, and he understood early on that the purpose of Digimon is not just for fighting. However, there was this one time when even he got confused with information that Gilmon is just data and hesitated for a second in greeting him. This new information provides a twist to the question what Digimon really are and where do they come from. Digimon have always been thought of as digital lifeforms made of data, but can we really see them as only that? Does their origin have a deeper meaning, even spiritual? Maybe the creators even saw them as guardian angels who found a way to manifest themselves in our universe and help their partners? As a Digimon fan, what does your heart tell you? Share your opinions and theories in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube as I also post updates about upcoming videos there.